Welcome to the wonderful world of blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, and all of the above. My name is James Rule XRP. You can find me on X, which is formerly Twitter, at Rule XRP. I'm a cryptocurrency teacher. Nothing I talk about today is financial advice. We are going to dig more into Flare Networks and some news that was announced today. There are test nets happening, there are betas happening, and we're going to cover several. And we're going to have a good time. Now, if you get a chance, check out my link tree below. You can check out all my sponsors, all my affiliates, all everything, James Royal XRP, socials, and all the above. And if you visit these different affiliates, tell them James Royal XRP sent you by. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the numbers. It is Wednesday evening in Southeast Texas. Total market cap is $2.736 trillion. Bitcoin has gone up. Look at Bitcoin, $71,155. Ethereum is up to $3,865. Solana, $173. XRP is up to $52.6. Cardano's $46. Render, $10.70. HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph, $10.4. And we're going to go on down. Flare Networks is 2.8 pennies. And look at... Songbird, 1.1 pennies. It's up 26.67% for the week because there is the Costin 2 network. There are F asset betas and test nets being announced. And we're going to get into it. One of my fellow YouTubers and dear friends, Crypto Eddie at Cento Sumo Saba, got this out earlier today on X. Hey, XRP community, can't believe that the largest so-called XRP key opinion leaders did not cover Flare Network's announcement. It's not know what you hold, but know who you follow 100%. Number one, F assets phase one begins, which we're going to look at. Phase two, XRP is first, starting with the test XRP faucet, FXRP. Retroactive airdrop to incentivize rollout, cost in beta, and then Songbird, cost in two, and then Flare. Let's go ahead and get after it. Kinetic Markets. My last video, I showed you the test net and the incredible things that you could do in Kinetic Markets. Well, they have offered a bug bounty to testers out there. And guess what? They are going to be paying various amounts of Flare based on the severity of the bug. If you find a test neck bug, please document it and submit via this form. I'll leave a copy of it below. And if you have not done so yet, I highly recommend that you go through the Kinetic Market Testnet tutorial because it is live on Flare's Costin2 network. I use the MetaMask wallet. And here in yesterday's video, I said that the Kinetic Kinetic Testnet is up and running on Costin2. I was able to stake, supply, and borrow. And note, Costin2 net Testnet must be set up in MetaMask before or you will receive an error whenever you try to connect your wallet. Let's keep going. Guess what? Scepter sent me a message today. And I was able to use their beta and I was able to liquid stake flare and I received S flare staked flare and there are some annual percentage rates 54.8%. There are lockup periods. If you try to withdraw, there's a two week lockup period, cooldown period. So get excited. I did have an opportunity to do this today. I took 50 flare and turned them into 50 s flare staking your flare let's keep a going people hugo Filion with flare check it out f assets open beta has now been launched people and they're going to start off with fxrp they're going to have f bitcoin they're going to have f doge you're going to have f other tokens check this out flare f asset open beta is here Phase one starts now. It's technical users get early access and help shape the FS system. Phase two launches soon, and everyone is invited to mint F test XRP with the FS dashboard. A retroactive airdrop is planned. Stay tuned. 
details. I'll leave a detail to everything covered in the description of this video. Now, do not forget, if you hold F assets, when all of this goes live, you are going to receive free Flare token incentives. FXRP is going to be the first one, baby. I'm XRP centric. I'm Flare centric. FXRP is right up my alley because I can delegate XRP, receive Flare incentives. The winners are winners. The winners are going to be more winners. The incentives, incentives, incentives are just going batshit crazy. So <laughs> let's keep going. Hugo Filion again. Oh, this is so exciting. It's been a busy couple of months. Here's a recap of recent developments in the Flare ecosystem. Number one, kinetic lending platform from Rome Blockchain Labs. Rain Lang, innovative intents like DEX, decentralized exchange. Launch our first native stablecoin, USDX, by Hex Trust on Flare Networks. Launch of real world asset protocol by Clearpool on chain treasuries. 11 million TVL within five days. Wow. Launch of first liquid staking protocol on Flare, Scepter, which I just showed you. Ongoing upgrades of Flare's price oracle to FTSO version 2, enabling 1,000 price series with one block updates. Launch of Flare Labs F asset protocol in open beta on Songbird testnet costing. That is why songbird is up over a penny now because all of these tests are going to be done on songbird and then they are going to eventually make their way over to the flare network and many governance votes along the way now a member of the community goes by the name of darken edge put this out there and i'm going to cover it he has a medium blog which covers many of these different ecosystems that are building on top of the flare networks with all the incoming opportunities with flare networks in the complementary ecosystems he threw together real roughly what he could gather to see how they might all work together still in the works and he probably got some things wrong but you know what you got it out there and my hats off to you this is the medium article by darken edge Potential passive reward loop. I repeat, potential passive reward loop. Hello, fellow DGENs. With all of the upcoming releases and changes incoming, I pulled this information all together into one place just for my own studies. I'm in no way taking credit for what others have written. I have just pieced together something that makes sense to me and thought I could share it to see if it would help others. First of all, kinetic. Lending and Borrowing, Linktree, Kinetic Market, White Paper, Introduction, DeFi Opportunities with Kinetic Market. Their tokens are going to be Jewel and Key. Testnet is live, as you saw. Watch my previous video. Scepter, Liquid Staking Platform, which I had an opportunity to use today. Thank you very much, Beta. At Scepter LS on X, Medium. Kinetic Inceptor to bring liquid staking to Flare. Other Kinetic Markets partners with Scepter. The token is S Flare, staking the Flare. Testnet is incoming to be announced status. I'm testing it today. I had the opportunity. Clearpool Credit Marketplace. Token is C Pool and C USDX. Staking is C Pool Oracles. T Pool. T pool clear pool for USDX from Hex Trust. Anosis, the DeFi suite, loans, forms, DEX bridge. Flow is the Anosis flow page. Tokens are XFI, SFIN, HLN, APSIS, which is native, available on Anosis DEX. Testnet incoming to be announced. How do I use these protocols? Scepter. How to liquid stake with Scepter. Flare liquid staking, Scepter.fi. Kinetic. Here we go. 
and I've gone over this before, but we're going to go through it real quick. When you choose to supply wrap flare or flare, Kinetic facilitates their conversion into S flare via the Scepter protocol. This conversion process integrates your assets into Flare's network reward ecosystem without additional steps on your part. Number one, stake your wrap flare or flare through the Kinetic interface or on Scepter. Get S flare in return for staking the wrap flare or flare. Supply your S flare on Kinetic to earn rewards and enable borrowing. Flare drops and P-Chain staking rewards will be compounded into your total staked amount and given to you when you unstake your S-Flare. The benefits of S-Flare. Supplying S-Flare rather than Flare or Rat Flare offers several advantages. Enhanced rewards. Gain from integrated Flare drops and P-Chain staking rewards leading to higher AP wise automatic reward investment scepter actively restakes and compounds rewards potentially outperforming individual reward management flare drops and P chain staking rewards your rewards from flare drops and P chain staking are accounted for when your S flare is unstaked or sold at the exchange rate of rat flare S flare is impacted by the number of rewards the protocol has claimed. This process ensures that you continually earn without needing to claim rewards manually as Scepter manages this on your behalf, compounding rewards more effectively than individual efforts could achieve. Passive, massive income. Right now, we're getting flare drops and we're getting the epics every three or four days, fragments of flare, monthly flare drops. And now all of a sudden, all of these other ecosystems are compounding and giving you more opportunities to make massive, passive income. Cooldown period and staking details. Unstaking S flare involves a standard two week cooldown period similar to Flare and other networks and staking platforms. This cooldown is essential for maintaining network stability and ensuring the liquidity of your assets. Note, S Flare can also be traded and swapped without the need to unstake depending on available pools on decentralized exchanges. Clear pool. Clearpool is proud to announce its collaboration with Flare, the blockchain for data, and Hex Trust Group, the digital asset custodian with billions in assets under custody, by launching a dedicated vault for holders to earn yield for the newly launched stablecoin USDX. USDX can be staked in a dedicated T pool on Clearpool to earn real world yield. This offers the flexibility to deposit and withdraw at any time without lockup periods, maximi maximizing returns through both the base yield and bonus flare incentives staking usdx on clear pool returns c usdx which can be used as collateral in flare lab f asset system supporting the use of non-smart contract assets such as bitcoin and doge and DeFi on flare understand the variance in yield generation for usdx staking t pools by macro brooks and it goes and it talks more and more and more and like i said it's passive, massive income. This is Enosis. This is a sneak peek at Enosis. Like I said, written by Darken Edge. Thank you very much, Darken Edge. Thanks for all the information. Um, we're in it to win it. And I know I've been talking a lot about Flare lately because it's my number two. I'm very passionate, not financial advice. XRP will always be my number one. But now Flare is starting to gain credibility. When you look at the options and the opportunities that we have in the future with these ecosystems and the F assets. Let's take a look at Panos. Anodos. Panos created Anodos Finance. Now, coming out today, it was introduced that Coinbase is introducing a smart wallet. The wait is over. Smart wallets are here. This is the future of crypto wallets. Say goodbye to seed phrases. Say hello to pass keys. The new standard that will bring the masses on chain. Anodos Finance is also working on a pass key onboarding solution for the XRP ledger, baby. Thank you, Panos. All right, let's get excited. I know I went through it pretty quick, but you know what? Things are happening. Test nets, beta, F assets. You know, the F assets are bringing ecosystems that does not have. Um, smart contracts 
onto the Flare network so it could be used in smart contracts, XRP, Doge, Bitcoin, and many others. So get excited. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, The James Rural Crypto Show on YouTube. Have a great rest of your week, and I will be keeping you updated shortly. My name is James Rural XRP, and guess what? I told you so.